you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and I know this very well. Amen. If you're struggling to retain any length and you are just not seeing any growth and you've been at the same length for years and years, then this is the video for you. I'm going to be showing you guys my start to finish hair growth routine, especially with protective styles. Hey family, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me already, I am Janet Davies, your hair growth guide. This channel is all about growing out longer, stronger and healthier hair. So if that's you, then definitely watch until the end. I'm gonna be showing you my updated routine on blown out hair. I'm gonna be taking off my jewelry, of course, and filing my nails, girls. We need to be filing our nails and if you do have longer nails like you know the acrylic sets or whatever definitely you can use some gloves but this is the first step file those nails or wells away take any jewelry that could potentially snag and let's get into the video i'm gonna go in also with some scissors at certain points to just get rid of any single stranded knots but we're gonna first off start off with water water is the foundation of any hair routine because it helps your hair become a lot more malleable manageable and just you're able to just manage your hair a lot better trying to detangle really dry afro hair is a recipe for disaster so we're gonna just saturate our hair with water and we're gonna work in sections because sections are your friends especially if you have thick hair like me we're gonna start off with of course the very first thing the shampoo of life okay this shampoo okay if you haven't tried it hmm read the reviews because they really speak for themselves this shampoo is the kind of shampoo you literally want to rub from your scalp all the way to the ends because it's infused with so many great ingredients i'm also going to go with a little scalp massage of course to stimulate that blood flow this shampoo has so many strengthening herbs that help to strengthen your hair and just be careful not to get it into your eyes because it's very potent it definitely helps stimulate so much so much hair growth i'm going to go in with that shampoo twice it does not strip your hair as i said before it's really really lovely infused with so many great ingredients i'll definitely list them some of them inc include neem shikakai fenugreek you name it it's in there and it's so good for your hair as i said i'm going in twice because uh, maybe this shampoo reads the reviews i don't want to talk too much so once i've rinsed that through i'm then gonna go in immediately with my baby <laughs> tangle slayer oh my goodness guys this if you don't want to invest in anything else in your hair growth routine i would say definitely invest in a good slippery detangling conditioner because this is going to save you from breakage this tangle slayer softens your hair so it feels like silk so then you're able to just glide through your hair so easily and I like to apply this immediately after shampooing and then I will just put it away because what you don't want to do is just shampoo and then let your hair kind of just like be there because it will just get dry. So you just want to put in some conditioner to kind of like marinate it a little bit. And that's what you see there. I've done the same thing I did to the other side and I'm just reactivating the tangle slayer in my hair by putting a little bit of water and then I'm just gonna go in and finger detangle. If you have tight full hair and you're not finger detangling, I'm coming for your neck, okay? This is serious, guys. I really want the best for you. And I know a lot of people may not talk about this, but finger detangling literally saves lives. If you want length retention, you're gonna have to say bye-bye to that comb, even for a little bit, just a little bit, okay? See, look, there's a knot. In this channel, we don't, we're not afraid to cut, but because we know if, if we cut off, you know, a little knot, it's gonna save us in the long run. Our hair is not gonna split all the way up. But anyway, detangle with care. You wanna make sure that you're detangling on hair that is soaking wet, covered in a super amazing slippery conditioner. And you're just using your fingers to kind of like get rid of all the knots, get rid of all the shed hair, and just make your hair much more malleable. This conditioner, honestly, again, the reviews speak for themselves. And I'm just gonna show you as well that after finger detangling, I do go in with a comb or brush. I'm not afraid of brushes, but I always finger detangle first. And I go in with this comb brush, whatever you call it, vertically, because I found that 
if you don't it just creates more snags and as you can see I'm also holding my hair so I'm not just kind of like letting my hair kind of like be free I'm kind of like holding it with one hand and then going in with the comb as well I hopefully you guys can see that but yeah that section is detangled the purpose of a comb for me is honestly to get rid of all that shed hair look at that yuck yuck and yes I'm gonna put it in my on my shower wall I know people, a lot of people don't like that, but sorry, I'm not going to block my drain. <laughs> so if you don't like it, you can just, yeah, goodbye. So yeah, I'm going to go in into the other section. Of course, I've already applied that Tangle Slayer and it has already had time to, you know, marinate and soften my hair. So all I did was add a little bit more water, okay, to reactivate. And look, look at how easy it is to detangle my hair. Like this tangle slayer will cut your detangling time in half if you're one of those people who spend hours and hours in the shower this is the product for you i'm then going to go in again of course with the comb or the brush to kind of get rid of all that shed hair not really to detangle but just to get rid of shed hair because my hair is already detangled and that is how much shed hair i lost yuck yikes so I'm then going to section that section away and then I'm going to just show you guys how much hair I actually lost in total. Can you catch it? Thanks. But this is normal. I'm going to leave a little bit of information about shed hair and broken hair, but if you can catch it, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. I'm then going to go, of course, rinse out that Tangle Slayer because, guys, I'm going to be using a protein treatment. This is a brand new product from Omina Naturals that I've been using for a little while but I didn't want to tell you guys because I wanted it to be ready for purchase. This protein ultimate strength deep conditioning mask it is intense okay if you have hair that is moisturized but still constantly breaking then this is the deep conditioner for you guys it's infused with so many strengthening herbs and also silk amino acids okay silk amino acids are small enough to actually penetrate the hair strand and strengthen it so when you use this conditioner your hair is going to feel like velvety sm velvety smooth it's going to be strengthened and primed for growth especially if you're going to do any heat styling you definitely want to be using a protein treatment before you do heat styling but i'm going to list everything in the description bar and i'm going to also have some text on the screen so you guys know a bit more about this deep conditioner it's just been launched hopefully it's still available to grab because you know stock kind of flies off the shelves yeah so i'm literally just putting that all in my hair i have a lot of hair guys and a little bit goes a long way i didn't even use that much and i got i have a lot of hair you guys can see okay so yeah this new deep conditioner is amazing it will change the health of your hair it's gonna intensively treat your hair it's gonna make sure that it's strengthened and it's primed for growth there's gonna be less shedding less breakage and overall your hair is just gonna be healthier this conditioner it took me such a long time to formulate because i wanted it to be perfect i wanted especially for our high prostate girls who are looking for that protein treatment this is for you okay this is for you and as you can see just look at how that makes my hair like just so oh i can't even explain it you need to try it and see how your hair feels and then definitely comment down below and that's how much hair i lost in the process so I'm just going to put my hair away and then work on the rest of my body, okay? And then I'm going to leave that in for 20 minutes and then I'm going to rinse. Thoroughly, this deep conditioner has herbs in it. So you want to make sure you rinse, you, you, rinse, you rinse well and get rid of all the excess water. I'm then going to just put, allow my hair to just air dry, not air dry, sorry, towel dry in this microfiber towel. If I can find a link, I'll put it below. And then I'm going to be applying some leave-in conditioner because the style we're going to be doing is a blowout. If you don't know already, this style, honestly, guys, genuinely helps so much with 
so much more length for tension. I'm going to list a whole heap of benefits of why stretched hair is the best way to maintain length after protective styling. I'm also going to um, give you some more tips on how to blow dry safely, but I'm going to just put in some leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to sleep in that overnight because I don't want my hair to be you know, soaking wet before I blow dry. So that's going to help cut the blow, blow drying time. And yeah, so this is the next morning. As you can tell, my hair is a lot drier, a bit more shrunken, and I'm just gonna remove those braids that I slept in, and I'm gonna put in my heat protectant. I'm using the Cream of Nature Blowout um, Cream from Cream of Nature, just to, of course, give myself some protection. And baby, the length that my hair is getting, guys, I know I get a lot of comments about huh, genetic genetics, but guys, this is serious. So this is the next morning. I've just applied about two-ish pumps of this Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Heat Protector Smooth and Shine Blowout Cream to the section of my hair. I then just run my fingers through it to finger detangle as much as I can. Not too much, but just enough because I know I'm still gonna go in with the comb. So my hair is probably about, I would say 70% dry. It's still a little bit damp, um, but at least it's not 100% wet, meaning that it's not going to take absolutely forever to dry. I'm then going to go in with my Rev Air, which I, of course, absolutely freaking love. You guys already know because I speak about it in like so many of my videos. This is not sponsored or anything like that. I was gifted by it quite a few years ago, but honestly, if it wasn't gifted to me, I probably would have just invested in it because it's just such a life saver. Saver. But I know for you guys in the UK, it's not actually available. So I will actually link a video to an alternative way of blow drying your hair, but still safely using one of these or there's some of them, or one of these. So there's, it's still possible to blow dry your hair safely with a good technique using either of these. So I'll definitely link some videos below. But of course I have the red there, so I'm gonna opt for it. Um, if you don't have it, then definitely check those videos. All I'm literally going to be doing is using this on heat one and speed seven on the box. You can't really see it because it's kind of like the cord is not long enough. I'm gonna basically get my hair as stretched as I can. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing a little heat blast using heat two at the very end to make sure my hair is super, 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 super stretched. And of course you guys know I, I'm such an advocate for stretching your hair out and not allowing, not allowing your hair to fully kind of like um, curl up in its natural state. As you can see, you may not be able to tell because whenever you guys see my hair, it's always like in the shower and like super moisturized. So my curls look super elongated, but in reality, Given the opportunity, my hair will shrink up and it will not very easily. And I've noticed that the times when I've had the most amount of length retention is when my hair is stretched, guys. So if you don't believe me, the proof is in the pudding. Like I've been able to retain so much length through the styles that I've been showing you guys like on a weekly, monthly basis. But yeah, this is one of my favorite stretched hairstyles, mainly because I can see the length of my hair versus like a braid out or whatever but yeah let me stop talking too much i'm going to use my breath air and then i'm gonna then put my hair in a little mini protective style but you guys will see that and yeah like i like to keep it really simple i'm busy you know but i still want to make sure i'm looking after my hair i did that protein treatment using the ultimate strength deep conditioning mask from Amino Naturals to prep my hair for the heat styling that I'm going to be doing. So if you're someone who frequently uses heat or if you just have high porosity hair or your hair is just moisturized but it's still constantly breaking, that, that, that deep conditioner is for you. But anyway, let me stop talking because my hair is shrinking as we speak and see not so forming. This is what I talk about. Stretch hair is the best hair because this is unacceptable. But you know what we're going to do. If I can't break it through naturally, I will cut it. I think it's behaving, so that's fine. So yeah, let's go ahead. So I just wanted to chime in real quickly and just show you guys that a lot of people may, you know, blow dry their hair and they may not get it fully stretched and that can actually cause breakage. So whenever I'm blow drying my hair, I'm always, always, always going to make sure I get rid of all texture because this kind of texture, over time, it, it's just going to knot and it's just going to create so many tangles. So look, just right here as I'm speaking, it's tangling up. I do need to trim, 
but nonetheless it's still tangling unnecessarily so I'm gonna just finger detangle a little a little bit just a little bit and then see if I can get my comb through even if it's just a little bit you know, a knot here we go this is the real life of a natural here's a knot I can't get through it so I'm just gonna cut it cut cut just gonna comb so I finger detangled first and now I'm combing through to kind of get rid of that texture that you see. And still, this is also a recipe for disaster. But the hair is not fully stretched like in a typical blowout. So I need to go in with heat setting too, just to add a little bit of heat and make sure that this is completely like, not straight, but like as straight as I can possibly make it with the blow dryer. So let's do that. And voila, there you have it. So there's a minimal amount of texture, not because I hate my texture, but because I know what's best for my hair. If you're gonna blow your hair out, you wanna make sure it's as straight as possible. I'm then gonna go in with my absolute favorite extra strength hair strengthening oil. If you love the hair strengthening oil from Mineral Naturals, then this is that on steroids. It's infused with so many Ayurvedic herbs. It's got amla, neem, fenugreek, shikakai, so many good stuff and a few more oils sorry the light keeps going in and out so please do bear with me and it's also got a few more oils such as pumpkin seed oil grape seed oil and overall your hair is just going to thank you so i've got a single strand in all and i hate them whenever i see them i cut them so i'm just gonna go in just like one and maybe like a half pumps and just put that through my hair and all I'm pretty much going to be doing, most likely, wait, let's just do a little mini length check, shall we? So, I think I'm like down to my hip. And we're kind of like surpassing the booty a little bit. All I'm going to be doing is putting my hair in a little twist because blowouts are great, guys, but you need to maintain them better. So, in order to make sure you guys are like aware of kind of what I do, I know this was quite a requested video. The video most likely after this is gonna be how I maintain a blowout because what you don't wanna do is blow out your hair and then actually like let it out because it might just tangle really bad. So you need to just maintain them just as good. So I'm kind of like doing a stretch style into a protective style, which are just these twists. So I'm pretty much gonna do this all over my head so let's just zoom through this, but I'll definitely put some text to recap exactly what it is that I'm doing. So just to recap, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna be doing any heat styling, you wanna prep your hair with a protein treatment because heat styling can actually re re reduce the protein in your hair. So just to make sure you're all topped up, definitely use a protein treatment and then apply a leave-in conditioner. This is gonna help you so much with retaining moisture throughout your whole blow drying process. My blowouts can last anywhere from two to three weeks and it's because I use a really amazing leave-in conditioner. And I then allow that to dry overnight in just some braids or some twists just to make sure your hair doesn't like tangle, anything like that. And then when you're actually ready to blow dry, you want to apply your heat protectant and then working in small sections, you want to finger detangle first, guys, finger detangle first, comb second. And then you want to use your kind of tool of choice. I, of course, love the Rev Air because it's so cool. And I do have links to alternatives. I'll definitely link them in the cards. And in the bio, I use Speed 7 Heat 1 to kind of get my hair dry 100% and then stretch as it can with that. And then once dry, I then finger detangle once more, then use a comb to get rid of any texture and I'll cut out any knots that are just beyond repair. After that, I will then use the Rev Air on my, your speed of choice or speed seven that's what i like to use and heat two to fully stretch out my hair and get rid of the texture if you don't want your hair to be incredibly tangled throughout the blow dry or you know keeping it blow dried you want to make sure you're getting rid of your texture lastly you want to be able to seal with an av oil and that will help to strengthen your hair and promote healthier hair growth my favorites are of course from a mineral naturals you then want to twist and or braid your hair and leave and twist for a minute of three days to style and to set hey guys so i have finally finally finished and this is how my hair is looking 
this is the longest my hair has been in my entire life i'm so glad that i actually get to like be on this journey with you guys because you guys have literally been seeing me do my hair like almost every single month for like has it been a year yeah maybe like eight months but it's been a journey in the making and i'm so glad that i've documented it if you've missed like these monthly uploads then definitely go back oh my gosh this angle is not very flattering is it i'm gonna pretty much keep my hair in this style because i i'm very much an advocate for protective styling if you're someone like me who's extremely busy then protective styling it's not only great for length retention but it just helps you just keep your hands out of your hair and just gives you peace of mind knowing that your hair is not tangling up and becoming a matted mess that will be so hard to tangle. The reason I love putting my hair in this state is because when I remove these twists my hair is not incredibly matted it's just so protected. All I'm going to be doing is, oh I don't even have a mirror, just using this to refresh my scalp. Oh, what was that? And I'm sorry it's really loud because the window is open and you can literally hear the trains we live quite near a station but yes that's enough babbling i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're trying to grow out longer stronger healthier hair then come on let's come on this journey together the next video is going to be all about maintenance i don't want to make my videos too long i'm trying to like break them up into more concise pieces of information so you guys can understand clearly what it is that i'm trying to preach but yeah this is how my hair is looking and then i'm going to cut this video here and you guys will see how I maintain this for optimal length retention because for blowouts you don't want to just kind of like have your hair out consistently because that can cause tangling so I'll show you guys how I maintain it and how I maintain moisture as well but for the most part I enjoy my hair being just in this state because I know it's stress-free let me not keep you guys too long thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next